guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to get from hong kong to boracay so first we need to take an international flight from hong kong to manila then we have to take a domestic flight from manila to katiklan then we need to take a speedboat to the boracay island and then i took a transport to the hotel so my journey began at the hong kong international airport and the queue for the check-in was really long because this was during Christmas break. We queued up for about an hour and then we could check in and then go through the immigration. We still had some time so we went to the restaurant inside the airport to have dinner. We had a very late night flight so many of the shops and restaurants were already closed. As it was quite empty, it was easier to find a table. So we bought burgers, fries and soft drinks. Most of the meal will cost at least over $100, but it would be much cheaper if it's outside the airport. After eating, we headed to our gate. We had to wait in front of the gate and then they asked us to line up to get inside. Bye bye, banana. It was peak season, so the plane was full. <laughs> and people were having a hard time finding space for their carry-on luggages. So these are the plane seats and they do have foldable table and some instructions, safety manual and magazine. The flight was on time with no delay. There was also charging ports on the seats which I used to charge my phone during the flight. The flight is around 2 hours and it does not include any meals but if you want you can purchase some food but you can only use pesos to purchase this food so if you have some pesos with you then you can purchase some drinks or water otherwise you can just wait after the flight they also have some other things you can buy a souvenir or you can also have your pre-order meal which you should order when you're booking the flight and then we reached manila We had to get out of the arrivals first and then go to departures for the domestic flights but since we had long hours in between we went to the restaurants and they also had many spa areas but it was quite crowded so it was not easy to find seats or tables for restaurant and also for the spas many of them were full and some of them were also closed we found one that was open but we had to wait another 30 minutes to get our turn. If you don't want a massage, you can just get a shower or a bed for sleeping and resting. So after the booking, we had to wait for our turn so it was time just to find a sitting area and sit inside the airport. So it was our turn and we went back to the spa area and I chose to get foot massage. You could also get a package of massage and using the lounge area where you could sleep but it was already full so we only did massage. And then we went to the waiting area because the, our gate number was not released yet and we bought some donuts while waiting. 
so the domestic flight was a little bit delayed and the information they gave was also quite late so we had to keep waiting until the gate number was released and then we could eventually go to the gate and then wait for the plane So this is the domestic flight but it is the same airline and the seats look quite similar but this, this was a little bit older than the previous one. The interesting things about these flights were that they had lots of English music for Christmas so it was different than other flights. Then we finally arrived at Katiklan. For departure, there was not much procedure and the area was quite small so we could just take our luggage and just go out of the airport. So we asked our hotel to send us the transport to get to their hotel. So we had a van waiting for us and some of the other passengers who were staying in their hotels. We were taken to this Henan Group Resort Center where we could gather and wait for our speedboat. It was a really nice place with lots of seating area and you could take a rest especially if you had a hectic journey. On the way out there were some posters of what you can expect in the hotel and then we headed for our speedboat. The staff helped to bring all the luggage and store it inside the speedboat and the ride was really fast at the same time it was quite bumpy. We got off the speedboat and headed to the gathering point. Then we took another van that was sent by the hotel and headed to our hotel. So for the return trip, everything was reversed. So first, we got into the van from the hotel to go to the pier. As we joined the group van, it was a little bit annoying because we had to wait for other people who were late. I think it's better to book single rides instead of group rides when you're returning. So we were taken to the pier and then we waited for our speedboat. They also gave us this boarding pass for crossing the port. There was a coffee shop if you wanted to get a snack or some coffee. And then we headed for our speedboat. The ride back to the airport was faster and shorter. So it only took few minutes. So we were taken to the center for Hanan groups of resorts and we could wait there and I did check out their toilet. It was very clean and then they had some nice fragrance from Kai Spa. Yes. Our vehicle for the airport was ready. And then we got inside this van and we reached the airport. It was really a short journey and it only took few minutes. 
We didn't have time for breakfast in the morning, so we got some coffee and a cinnamon roll and a calamansi muffin. We waited really long time because our flight was delayed and then we took the coach towards the airplane. Many of the passengers had carry-on luggage but there was no space to put inside the coach. was great especially when we just left the island Captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign. Please check your seatbelt. Then we waited in the Manila airport. Your face mask on for the entire duration of the flight. And with a touch your eyes, close and mouth at any time. was delayed and we didn't have sufficient time to have proper meals so we had to use the leftover pesos to buy this food so it is good to save some currency so that you can use it in the airplane if needed so finally we arrived to Hong Kong International Airport we were supposed to get back to Hong Kong during the daytime but due to the delay by the time we arrived it was already evening